this stuff. Let's make sure it'll go first. Directions to Daniel, Wyoming. Getting directions to Daniel. Oh look, it's only 26 hours. One day and two hours. Yeah. Get right. your freaking feet up. Start Are we there yet? <laughs> After eight years, we were finally on the road to Wyoming. We had been planning and training for the demands of the high country, and we were about to find out if we had what it takes. What do you think, boys? Yeah. We're only a hundred yards from the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Quarter of the way up the mountain? I don't know. Not yeah. super far, but we found a nice flat spot to camp. We're sweaty. <laughs> to get it got camp set up had the tent set up had to relocate it because we got a dead tree over here that was leaning so got the tent moved in a safe spot and uh, sun's getting ready to set on day number one running on two hours of sleep Hilt. 
to uh, glass this side over here. And we just spotted a dandy buck. He's 600 yards away. As it got closer to dark, we made our way back toward camp and glassed up yet another shooter buck. Needless to say, anticipation for the next morning was high. Look, fellas. Yeah, you too, man. Careful. Somebody knocked one down today. Well, it is opening day in Wyoming, September 15th. We spotted two really nice bucks last night. One of them probably pushing 170. And another one over here, probably 150-ish. So, this morning, we drew straws to see who got to go after the bigger buck. And uh, Josh drew the short straw, so him and Jeremy went after the big buck. I come down here to glass, see if I could locate this other buck. He, this buck is really nice, too. He's really pretty. He's just a nice 4x4, four four, probably, I don't know, 22 inches wide, real, real high. <laughs> Just a nice looking buck, so I ease my way down into this timber and I'm glassing this hillside about a thousand yards away. I'm hoping that I can see something go up to bed in these cliffs and then I make my move down and try to get within four or five hundred yards. The wind is just whipping this morning. It's terrible. I didn't sleep again last night. I'm running on about three hours of sleep total for the last two nights. Man, this is awesome. Finally in Wyoming. Finally got a gun in my hands. We've got a couple shooters located, so we're going to hunt hard today and the rest of the week and see if we can't put a couple good bucks down. I just spotted two bucks. One's a pretty nice three by four. The other one's just a small one, I think, but they're only about 400 yards away. I'm trying to decide if I want to shoot this one or not. He's not as big as the one I saw last night in this same area, so I may just watch him and see what they do and then make a move. He's a nice looking buck though. All right, so I've got a buck over on this hillside. He's a nice one, he's not huge, but... I'm so impressed. I'm gonna see how close I can get to it. If I can get within 200 yards, I think I'm gonna shoot him. I had him at 470. I took a couple dry fires at him, and I think I could've killed him, but... The wind is just too wicked to shoot that far, so... Sneak up here. As I came over this dirt mound, the bucks were bedded less than 60 yards away, giving me a split second to shoot. I just shot 
on my first million. I spotted them up here in this timber. And I couldn't find them. So I just worked my way downwind of this timber and I jumped them up and they ran up and he stopped and I shot him. I don't know how big he is. I mean, he looks like a pretty good one. He's, he's down right here. Oh my God. Oh man, he's bigger than I thought he was. Yes! First day of the Wyoming rifle season. And I just shot me my first mule deer buck. And the country this, these deer live in is just absolutely unreal. Amazing. This is all public land. Backpack, do it yourself hunt. Scouted this spot out on a map from, a, from 1800 miles away. And come in here and got it done the first day on a really nice buck. I, I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't. Packing my bug out. It's heavy. I'm gonna cry. Now nah, we're almost back to the truck. We're getting there. First downhill part really sucked. Luckily I had Josh to help me because I don't think I could have done it all myself. Well, I know I couldn't have. Josh and I had just finished up packing my buck out when we got a message from Jeremy. Buck number two had hit the dirt. Two miles from the trailhead, they say. That's where the deer are. Five feet from that truck. <laughs> Weapon of choice. <laughs> Welcome up to the buck I shot. Didn't get enough time to really gauge him. There's no use of four buck. Okay, he's a little better than I thought.
Sunday morning, Jeremy and I packed his buck out while Josh made his way farther from camp to hopefully locate some more bucks. Little did we know our time would be cut short. A forest fire had broke out only a few miles from camp, forcing us to quickly pack up and come up with a new plan. After driving two hours and relocating camp, we only glassed up two does and several guys hunting one small area, so we decided to pack up yet again and find new territory. views and terrain in this spot were simply incredible, but after a full day of glassing we only turned up one decent buck and some elk. The next morning we decided to drop down an elevation to thicker cover. This move would finally give Josh the shot he was hoping for. How much above him? Probably two feet. All right. Are you serious? Yeah. He's standing over on that berm now. Huh? He's, he's coming this way. Right? All right. How far? It came down to the last day. At 675 yards, the shot went just over the buck's back. We worked as a team to get that shot, and we were certainly disappointed that Josh's tag would go unfilled. As we hiked out that day, I couldn't help but reflect on what we had achieved. In the end, we hiked over 60 miles, 11,000 vertical feet, and had experienced the most beautiful and rugged country any of us had ever stepped foot in. We were blessed to fill two of the three tags on this trip, but honestly, the kill was the smallest part. The challenge and beauty of these mountains are what I will remember the most, and hopefully one day I will find myself sitting at 10,000 feet looking over God's country once again.